Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this has been a very volatile day. So if you want to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So first of all, we had the election in Georgia, where both uh, Democratic candidates were uh, successful. The one is not um, officially over, but the other race is basically over. So the U.S. Senate will basically fall to the Democrat, and that is almost a certainty at this case, in this at this point. Um, so that created some volatility, uh, mainly due to the fact that um, that um, that it is seen as well fairly bearish in the short run that the United that um, the United States Congress will fall to Democrats. But however, in the long run, there will be a lot of stimulus and that is going to be really bullish for the markets and it's also going to be really bullish for certain industries especially those that have with construction and so on because you expect there are going to be a lot of programs coming out the next few years um, that are trying to basically energize the um, United States economy and therefore the uh, those stocks will probably be very very um, active in the next few years if you say it like that and then you have the situation later on to the day uh, where basically you have a, a attempted coup uh, or a riot that is basically trying to take over the capitol building in the united states so the congress and of course you can see what action that left uh, to in the s p 500 it basically went from roughly 3000 789 all the way down to where we basically are it's trading at the moment 3,748 so it's not a massive drop but it is a drop so it did um, it happened later in the day and it did have an effect um, I don't think that this is going to collapse the market whatsoever even though it it, it will have an effect because it it's technically bad news but tomorrow it will probably rally again so at this current days, we can see in the S&P 100 that the 20 exponential is holding off very, very nicely. And it is fairly unlikely that we'll break the 20 exponential at this current stage. The target here at the moment is 3,800. If we uh, cross 3,800, then we'll basically go to 3,900 and then 4,000. So one of the reasons also why we got... Uh, we basically broke down is because we also got fairly overstretched. If you see here in the Bollinger Band, so there is always some kind of bad news that will um, affect this market, but this market would have fallen anyways because we were basically way out overstretched. We were outside of the Bollinger Band here and then we basically need the pullback. So we may see some choppy trading um, up and down in tomorrow's trading, but 3,800, that is basically the target at this current stage. If you look at the other technical indicators, they are turning around at this point. They are bearish, but they are turning around. The RSI is at 60, so it's it's uh, fairly high. The MACD is trading under the signal line. The stochastic is trading under the signal line, while the CCI is technically flat at this point. So pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, that's roughly 3,700. That is your entry point. Anything lower than that is just um, is basically really cheap. The S P 100 at this point. So let's look at the Dow Jones. We can see that we are trading at the 13,829. So we were trading at 21, 31,000, which is basically the all-time highs for the for the for the for the Dow Jones. And uh, then we basically pull back. It is expected for the Dow Jones to pull back even further. If you look here in the Bollinger Band, we are basically way outside. This was uh, basically a uh, rally too soon and too fast. Uh, we are going to go higher. It will stabilize um, and we will continue slowly going, going higher. But this move here it will only basically uh, end with basically pullbacks towards the 20 exponential moving average. So the 20 is basically here at the 30,242 at this point. I, it will, I would be surprised if we fall all the way down there in one day. It is possible. We see this massive candlestick here on basically Monday session. So it is possible, but 
I'm gonna pull back probably that to half, roughly 30,500. Um, if we go down to that area, then we'll basically have a, a lot of buyers coming in buying this. So target is uh, 31,000. After that, 31,500, and then to 40, uh, 32,000. So let's look at the Nasdaq. So the companies that uh, will mostly benefit mostly from, from um, these stimulus packages and so on are not the tech companies. So tech companies have been benefiting hugely from the coronavirus due to the fact that people have been say, staying home and they have basically have to be online in order to conduct their, uh, well, basically uh, everything has been online the last nine months. So therefore, tech companies have benefited significantly. But they took a massive hit today. So we are down 1.4% at this current stage. We're trading at uh, 12,623. Uh, uh, 12, uh, uh, and uh, at this current stage, we are still holding. We are basically holding it. We are creating an inverted hammer. But, um, but uh, it is expected for this to rally. This is... Um, this is going to go higher. Uh, so the target here is the 13,000. If we fall all the way down to uh, the, the 40 exponential moving average, it is basically a lot of buyers will come in at this stage and uh, pressure this price up. So there's a lot of uh, support underneath here. This is not going to go anywhere at this current stage. Of course, uh, what has happened today, both with the election outcome and also the riots later on in the United States have had an effect on this market. But tomorrow, this is very likely to go higher. If you look at the technical indicators, they are getting lower, which is really good, actually. For example, the RSI is now at 51. It is. It hasn't been this low for, for weeks. So, so there's a lot of room to the upside. So 30,000, 13,000 is basically the target. That is a move roughly of 2.8%. After that is 13,500 uh, 13, and then 14,000. Other technical indicators are looking fairly bearish at this point, but when you have moves like these, then yes, that will most likely happen. So let's look at the, let's, at the tech stocks. So Apple has taken a massive beating. We were all the way up at the, uh, 131 and fell all the way down to 126. We have found support here, and it is fairly likely that we are going to turn around here at the 20, the 40 exponential moving average and head back up. So, uh, yes, um, there's no reason to expect why people should be selling Apple. Um, it's basically people are going from tech stocks over to uh, other stocks that they expect to be growing significantly in the, in the future, and therefore these uh, stocks will suffer. Uh, but... 40 exponential that should be the bottom of this market and then we'll start targeting these highs again technical indicators here are looking fairly bearish at this point basically all of them so the lower this can basically gets the better the buying opportunity so amazon we can see we fell more than two percent two and a half percent today we found the re resistant here at the 100 moving average and then fell roughly to 3138 and then we found resistance there. So we are getting very low in the RSI when you're considering uh, what stock this is. We're also uh, getting basically in touch with the 150 moving average. And if we get down to there, that will be enormous amount of support. And this will basically move. And then um, this will start moving to the upside. So yes, I can say the lower it basically gets, the better the buying opportunity. That is the same for all of these stocks. They will continue growing. It's just a matter of finding the cheapest point in order to enter to buy this. And um, today was a fairly bad day for all of these stocks, except for Tesla, um, because of the outcome today. So let's look at Microsoft. So we have found support here right above the 150 moving average. It took a nose dive. We're down 2.6% nearly, but this is probably the bottom of this market. Tomorrow, we'll most likely see Microsoft the stock turn around. The 150 will offer enormous amount of support. We can see the last time we were basically close to the 150. It turned around here, rallied roughly, uh, roughly 14.3%. Uh, 
So that is also expected here. So a buy-in at this stage, that is, that is a, a very good buy for Microsoft stock with a target of roughly 227. And the stop loss right underneath the 250 moving average. So technical indicators, they are looking dreadful at the moment, but they are expected to turn around in tomorrow's session or definitely on Friday session. Facebook has been dreadful. So we basically broke through the uh, 150 moving average and then rallied again. And now we're basically at the edge of the 150 moving average. This should be the bottom of this market. Um, basically buying here or a turnaround here is a massive buying opportunity. Uh, so roughly a target of 11.5%. That is the target, the sh short term target. If you manage to break through these 50 mov these moving averages here, then there's nothing that is preventing us from going to these highs. We have been dropping for a really long time now, ever since basically um, the beginning of uh, December, we have been dropping in Facebook, uh, Facebook Facebook stock. And at this current stage, we have probably reached the bottom here at the 150 moving average. If this breaks, then we have all the way down to the 200. And that is a drop of roughly 6.3%. That is, well, fairly unlikely at this current stage. I, we can just see here in the Bollinger Band, we are way outside of the Bollinger Band. And usually what happens here is that we pull back at least towards the middle. And that is at, that is roughly, that is roughly an increase of 4.2%. So let's look at Tesla. Tesla just continues to increase. But I do expect a, a fairly big pullback in tomorrow's session. So we can see that we are way outside of the Bollinger Band here. We are at the 74 in the RSI. Technical indicators, uh, for example, stochastic is turning around here. So I wouldn't be surprised if we have a pullback towards the 20 exponential. That's roughly a fall of 11.5% at this current stage. I don't like shorting Tesla stock. Have done it in the past when it got way out of hand. But uh, a buy-in of these pullbacks, that is the way where you should trade Tesla stock. So if, let's look at Google. So Google just fell off a cliff today. We're, uh, we're basically, yeah, you can see where basically we were. We're roughly down 2.6% here. I don't know why my, my indicators showed out. That's not right. We are getting outside of the Bollinger Band. And the last time we were outside of the Bollinger Band, we rallied roughly 5.5%. Roughly so expect a pullback in tomorrow's session. We have been, both Facebook and Google have been falling for a very long time now due to massive amounts of, of bad news for these companies. But at this current stage, I'm waiting for a turnaround for both of these stocks. So, um, this show looks like it's going to be supportive. If we fall even further, then the 100 moving average should offer enormous amount of support. So Netflix, also down 3.4%. We are trading underneath the 50 moving average. We um, are trading just above the 150 moving average. And the 150 moving average is basically where Facebook, now Netflix usually finds is massive support. We can see all the way here what basically happens when we get to that level. So we are getting very overstretched to the downside. I should, we are basically, I am anticipating a pullback at least towards the 20 exponential. That's roughly 518 and then towards these highs of 544. Um, but you could probably wait until it basically touches down 20, the 150. Um, otherwise, you can basically see what usually happens when we get close to the 150. It basically turns around. So I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.